Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I uh, wanted to answer a couple of questions that I get for Windows 10 particularly and um, one of them uh, that is recurrent and coming back regularly. Uh, a lot of people are coming back to me saying is it just me or is my um, you know timeline feature broken or why is it that I don't have a timeline icon in my taskbar anymore uh, which was for some called task view and the reason is simple is with each version of Windows 10 this is being deprecated timeline is moving away so in 21H1 they actually removed the timeline icon it's not there anymore and a lot of people are saying, well, I have the impression that my timeline is broken or it doesn't register everything. That's also part of the deprecation of the task view or timeline feature. Less and less apps will actually interact with it to show you what uh, you did in the past. So timeline was introduced a couple of years ago, about a year and a half, two years ago. It was a feature that was kind of nice. I used it at the beginning but you know what it's kind of easy to forget about it and you end up to a point where it's like well you know I'm not I'm not using uh, I'm not using this anymore and uh, you realize that it's one of those things that you stop using after a while and and it's sad because it's kind of a feature that could be very useful and going back in time you know what what document did I open three days ago you could go to the timeline I could see my Word documents. Okay, oh yeah, that's the one I was working three days ago. That's what I was searching for. It was, there was a, a, um, an interesting way of using it, but uh, Microsoft decided that it's unused and that it's not worth staying here. Um, and uh, Timeline, of course, is not part of Windows 11 from what I uh, see here. So uh, this is really something that if you, you were using it, unfortunately, it's going away. And there's a lot of these things that Microsoft has been doing. Uh, the other question about Windows 10 uh, product key. Uh, one has to do with somebody saying that he tried to reinstall Windows 7 on a PC that was offline because it's the only system that works with one of his software that he needs to use. Uh, he would keep Windows 7, of course, off the Internet. Uh, the first thing that he asks is, is it secure to use it like that? Yes, Windows 7, if you're not connected to the web, is fine to use on a individual machine uh, because the only security hazard that it has mostly is when you connect to the outside world, mainly the Internet. Uh, but your other question is that it says that your key isn't valid and it doesn't want to activate. Um, remember that if you've actually use that key to go to a free version of Windows 10 that key was converted in Windows 10 that key ain't valid for Windows 7 anymore you lost that capability with it because it was actually changed and moved to a digital license in Windows 10 so unfortunately that is the sad thing about uh, using a key for Windows 7 to activate Windows 10 um, after that trial period, your key will be permanently changed to a Windows 10 key. Uh, talking about keys, uh, another question is, okay, you talked about the fact that Windows 10 users will have free upgrade to Windows 11. And one of the questions that comes quite often is, does that mean that I can just clean install Windows 11, use my Windows 10 key to upgrade? Uh, technically, it should work. Um, if Windows 10 is free to Windows 11, which is, then probably a clean install with a Windows 10 key should technically work and be fine. So that will probably be okay, um, of course. So uh, that's the uh, that's what we think. Um, Another question also about the Windows 10 to Windows 11 thing. A lot of people are saying, "Is it where is it going to come from? Where is Windows 11 showing up? Am I going to have to go to a download page or not? Right now what we know is that it's going to show up in Windows updates to machines that are compatible. 
and it will be a optional update, which means as long as you don't click download and install, it's not going to install itself. And you'll be able to keep using Windows 10 for as long as you want until either you're ready to move on to Windows 11 or you just buy a new machine with Windows 11. So these are some of the questions that uh, we're getting uh, today. Another question about the future of Windows 10. Of course, a lot of you are you know, talking about, well, okay, so we get these updates all the time and um, you're talking that it's going to probably be relaxed and we're probably going to get only the security updates and bug fixes. Uh, and so is there anything in the future that could change that right now is either a feature that they might remove or there's, you know, Microsoft doesn't say anything, but we know that they tweak the system. So yes, there's possibilities that some features might be removed. There's possibilities that some things might be added. For example, Windows 11 will come with themes. Uh, teams is kind of a, you know, it's, it's, it's the zoom of Microsoft for, you know, uh, having video conferences and, and chats. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that at some point, um, a consumer version of teams that is going to be with windows 11 might actually show up also on windows 10. There are things like that, that I wouldn't be surprised Microsoft would push to, uh, windows 10 also. So these are the little things that, you know, we, we, we're guessing, but we're looking at the indications and it wouldn't be surprising that that happens. So these are the questions and answers that I have for today. If you have uh, enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.